Hello everyone, my name is Peanut and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, you might be wondering why I'm running naked through the nether. Um, <laughs> uh, I kinda died and lost all my stuff on the roof, so now I need to pillar up here. <laughs> in order to get up to the roof to get all my stuff, because I'd had my spare elytra on me uh, up there as well. Um, fortunately, I didn't die in, like, a terribly bad way, so I know that everything is still up there, but it, it was kind of funny. Well, there it all is, and I hear a ghast. Sounds like it's up here somewhere. Let's see. So I was up here... Trying to get a gas to spawn in there. So it might actually be a better idea to try and get a gas to spawn in the Soul Sand Valley. That might be what I need to do. But I hear ghasts. I don't know where they are. They're probably underneath, and they just sound like they're up here. But yeah, we are going to, um, probably come back to this project again at a later date for, um, the second time now. Let's go back home, because I have some things to show you. The first thing that I want to show you requires a bucket. I'm gonna go down here and get a bucket, because I thought there was one in my inventory, and there is not. I don't remember whether or not I showed this on screen, but I put a whole bunch of cauldrons up here to try and get a block of powder snow. And now we have one that's full because we need a block of powder snow and some leather boots for an advancement. So let's put this here, I guess, and walk over it. No? Yay, light as a rabbit. Awesome. And now we have a bucket of powder snow for forever we- for whatever we might want to do with a bucket of powdered snow. Also, down here in my storage room slash alchemical lab, because I have not, uh, built or moved this to, uh, underneath my, uh, nether tower, I have... 12 potions. These are important potions. Because I'm gonna use them to get Furious Cocktail. Uh, hopefully. First of all, I'm gonna put my extra elytra back. I really hope that these are all the potions that I need. And I am going to try my best to drink them in order from... Uh... Most to least amount of time, so that I have the maximum possibility to have everything on me. So, uh, Oh, I'm nervous about this. Let's go. Okay, those all together, and boop, 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 region, poison, turtle master, <gasps> furious cocktail, oh my goodness, I have so many potion effects, oh, this is crazy, why didn't I bring a bucket of milk? <laughs> Um, it's gonna take me so long to get a bucket of milk. Is it even gonna be worth it? I mean, why not, right? Let's, let's try to get a bucket of milk with all these crazy things on me. Um, so I am gonna bring one of each of these potions over to the island that I spawned on to start getting, uh, getting ready for how did we get here. Um, I'm gonna start, like, slowly, probably a little bit every episode, bringing stuff to that island that needs to go there. I need to find cows. Cows are this way. Oh my gosh, slow falling is actually kind of annoying when you don't want to have it. Cow, milk, please save me from this nightmare. <laughs> Alright, well that was a bunch, bunch of potion effects. Let's put everything on my hot bar the way that I like having it on my hot bar. Well, not necessarily, but you know, whatever. Um, I also found out 
that you don't, um, for the Arbalistic Advancement, you, it, they don't need to be hostile mobs, which is very, very good for me, because that means that I can take one of these poison potions and turn it into a splash potion. Poison 2 splash potion, hopefully. Let's go with poison 2. So we don't have to use hostile mobs, which means that we can use any kind of mobs, as long as they are not two of the same mob. So hopefully, that means we should be able to use a villager. Granted, I can get one of these guys into a boat. Oh, no. And now I have to get the boat away from here. That's gonna be an issue. Um, you know what? Um, you saw nothing. Whoa. Away from here. Blow away from here. Oh. Uh. Eh, okay. Let me in the boat. Goodness. Okay. Uh, for now, that. We are gonna go... I guess right here. Now that we've got that villager there. Uh, it's time to find a bunch of other... mobs that I can do this do this with. Actually, it might be easier if I go, like, fly off somewhere to do this. I also need to get another boat. And there are a couple more biomes that we need to find anyway, so why don't we do that? Go fly around. Maybe toward the direction of a uh, Badlands biome as directed by Amidst. Alright, I did some looking around on Amidst and I found a Badlands biome that isn't super far. Um, that is like a collection of all the Badlands biomes that I need. So I am gonna get flying in that direction and see if- oh, I didn't grab my crossbow. I need to go grab my crossbow. What we're looking for um, on the way there is I'm gonna turn on my hitboxes and see if I can't find a drowned with the trident and get one of those because there's two advancements that I need for that that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, but I also want to try and find uh, five like different animals or entities to put in a, uh, in boats to, to shoot through with my uh, goodness with this piercing four crossbow. And I have a uh, splash potion of poison for that as well. And also maybe if I find any like chests or, or dungeons or anything along the way, um, I'll see if I can find an enchanted golden apple because that's something that I need to eat for my, uh, for that eating advancement. Uh, so I will probably see y'all at the Badlands. Ooh, he's got a Nautilus shell. I kind of need that. Did he drop it? Okay, cool. I need conduit power for uh, the advancement. For for uh, the advancement. That's very descriptive. Um, for how did we get here? That's what I need that for. Oh. Yeah, one of these guys has a trident. Oh, it's a baby. I don't know if they drop them. Did he drop it? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like he just dropped a rotten flesh. Ooh, I see a bit of red sand. So that's at least part of it. Badlands. Alright. So that should bring us from, I think, 30. I actually don't know what number we're at, so let's turn that off and go check the advancements. We really do not have a lot left to go. We've got two, three, four here. Um, well, five, because our ballistic is a secret 
advancement. Um, and like those will be super easy to get as soon as I get a uh, trident. But we've got down here 36 out of 42. And I'm hoping that the Badlands biomes and the uh, Taiga are gonna be like what we need. So what do you have, 36 out of 42? So let's just like walk around here a whole bunch. And explore it, because I mean, like, we haven't really been to one of these biomes. I think this is where gold spawns naturally, like, almost even on the surface. Is that here? Well, this is an interesting, perfectly circular carving out of the whatever this is. So the thing that I, um, one of the things that I'm looking forward to for 1.18 uh, is the fact that they're kind of doing away with a lot of the biome variants because uh, biome is not going to determine the height of the terrain. And it's more the height of the terrain is going to determine what biomes can, can and can't spawn there. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of fun. I also feel like it'll make for much more realistically distributed biomes. Well, maybe not distributed, but like... Um, because like hotter biome, like in the real world, hotter biomes tend to be in like flatter areas, um, because, you know, elevation is a thing, like, and the closer you are to space, the thinner the air is and stuff. I don't know. There, there's someone more scientifically inclined than me that can actually answer that question. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking it'll be cool. I'm looking forward to that change. Holy crap. This is a really big Badlands biome. Ooh, there's a ruined portal over here. I wonder if, um, I wonder if enchanted golden apples are even in the ruined portal's loot table. I'll have to look that up. Let's stop midair real quick and check and see if we got any more advancements or more biomes. And we got to 38. So that's one more. I think there's a couple variants of this that we might be missing. I might have to go around in uh, with F F3 on. Let's see, like, so we got the Badlands, Badlands Plateau, Eroded Badlands. Okay, I did a quick Google search, and what we're looking for is the Wooded Badlands and the Wooded Badlands Plateau. Which I don't know if we have in this collection of Badlands biomes. Oh, there's one. Modified Wooded... Modified Wooded Badlands Plateau. I don't know where the Wooded is coming from, because there's no trees there. But okay. There's the wooded Badlands Plateau. Um, and then I think there's one that's just modified Plateau without the wooded part. But I could be wrong about that. Now I know we need the Mega Taiga. Um, and I have that marked down too, but that's like super far away. Um, like ridiculously far away. Um, and it's also only like two biomes, so that's not gonna fill out the rest of what we need. So I'm probably gonna be racking my brain for like the one one or two biomes that we haven't ever been to yet. And unfortunately for me, I do not have enough followers that someone is gonna yell at me in the comments like, you haven't been to whatever this is yet. <laughs> That's not a problem, I'll figure it out myself. Ooh, go away. There should be gold in these. And maybe... chests. That's a regular golden apple. Hmm. Looking for the enchanted variety. Pretty sure that they can spawn in minecart chests. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Fired that rocket and scared me half to death. Oh, here we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. The fact that there's just like straight up gold in the walls, even though we're at surface level, even above surface level. Well, I came out with a haul of 50 gold, so I think it's time for us to head on back toward home. 
Um, and I think it's actually going to be easier to go through the nether to get to this giant taiga rather than uh, the overworld because it is about 13,000 blocks away from, uh, from home base. So we are going to fly through the nether to make a portal for that. Here we are back home. I'm gonna drop off a whole bunch of the stuff that I brought with me, and then I am gonna go uh, into the nether, and we are going to make a path to that uh, giant, well, we're probably not gonna make a path, we're probably just gonna fly in the build a portal, uh, to that uh, mega taiga that I found on a midst that hopefully is actually there, because sometimes, y you know, things happen. Oh! Well, hello, Bastion Remnant. Ooh, this is a big one. I was on my way flying to make the portal for the, uh... What's it called? The giant taiga? And I come across this. Oh. Am I about to look in these chests? Because I need uh, enchanted golden apples. I don't even know if that's part of this loot table. I'm going to open this and everything's going to scream. Soul speed 2. Unfortunately, there is no enchanted golden apple in any of those chests. Sad days. Well, let's continue on with our actual mission. We got soul speed, though. Soul speed's pretty cool. There's another bit of Bastion Remnant. Oh. I wanna kill him. Ooh, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Oh no, I died! Oh no. That's not fun. Um. <laughs> uh, at least my coordinates were on, so I can write those down and get back here. Alright, I went back there and grabbed all my stuff, and now I have, uh, this. And also, while I was back there, um, I got the Oh Shiny advancement, uh, here for distracting a piglin with gold. Um, and I totally forgot to hit my record button, so I apologize for that, um, but it's... It, it was just throwing gold at an angry piglin. It's not like I... It's not like I found an enchanted golden apple off screen or anything. So... Let's light up this portal and hope it takes us where we want to go. Alright. I do see Mega Tiger Podzol. This is fantastic. So we got it. Let's see if we went from 38 to 39 on here. No, apparently not. Is this not a mega taiga? This is a giant spruce taiga. Hmm, let's fly around and see what we can find. Giant tree taiga hills. Is that a new one? Yes, that's a new one. Somehow I've already been to a mega taiga? Or to, to a giant, giant tree taiga? What, what was that one? This one over here. It was a giant spruce taiga, right? Yeah, giant spruce taiga. Apparently I've been to one of these already. Um. I'm gonna need to put down the coordinates of the portal. I've already lost the portal. Uh, so. Let's see, we got. We're at 40 of 42. So, I don't know what we're missing, honestly. I... I could not say. Um... I think one of them might be Mushroom Island Shores? Um... I'm pretty sure we're missing one Badlands variant. Um, which is just the modified Badlands. Like, we got the modified Eroded Badlands, but we didn't get the modified Badlands by itself. Uh, so it could be that. Could be something different. Um, 
I think we need to go to Gravel Mountains. Was it? I think it's Gravel Mountains Plus. Um, I don't know if there's one around here because I didn't look at it. Uh, this looks like it could be something different. This is, oh, this is just more giant tree taiga. That's going to be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me fly around haphazardly and uh, try to find biomes that I have never been to before. Um, I got my migrator cape, which is super cool. That's the design on my wings. Um, but yeah, drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And have a flip fantastic day. Ouch. Uh, uh. Bye-bye!